is Ricky Hall coming to you from work. I know, I know, videoing at work, but uh, sometimes we do what we gotta do. I'm uh, getting ready to uh, make a mask for the children, and I got one of my peoples here with me, video blogging, my video blog. Yeah, we're about to just uh, start making these masks and you know, do what we do. All right, so we have here, uh, I finished one already, that one of my peoples did. What's that be? I'm here learning how to do this, so feel free to fast forward if you already know how to make a mask. It starts out like this, you know, you get your little mask, you wrap some saran wrap around it, you know, you do what you're doing with that. And then, I have my teacher here, my sensei. So, what, we, what do we do, what do we do? First, we take our newspaper, and then we <coughs> dip it in the glue. Make sure you squeegee it off, you squeeze that out, you know what I'm saying, squeeze. That's not the right motion for that. You apply the paper to the edge of the mask, and then you just, you know, you layer it out. All right, so we got our newspaper here, and then we dip it in the glue, like this, and then you, you know, get some of that excess off, you know, you do both sides, and then you apply it to the mask, apply it like that, get some more paper. We got our Japanese paper here. There ain't nobody reading that, you know what I'm saying? So. What you got right here? It's probably way too much glue. <laughs> so, no, it's fine, but when you put your next layer on, don't add any glue to that layer. Just stick a piece of paper directly on top of it. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of glue. What are you doing? Okay, so for you, don't even dip the paper in. <laughs> dip your fingers in, and then massage the paper with the glue, and then lay down the paper on, on top of the mask. So, like, don't even put any more glue on <laughs> any these papers. Just put the paper down, and then massage extra glue on if you need it. So apparently, I put too much glue. He's a little heavy-handed. Well, hey. I got big hands. Take that where you wanna. Yeah, I know, this is not too exciting. You know, we're not out eating stuff or acting a fool in the streets. Sometimes you gotta go to work, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pay some bills, dude, you know? And he gets paid the big money to do this to people. I do I do make appointments if you're looking for that uh, facial. I got you, look at that. I got you, you want that good stuff? I got you. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So you're gonna do two layers, two layers of newspaper, then one layer of white paper. Why you gotta be white? Well, we could use like black paper, but then you'd be accusing me like, why you gotta be blackface? Come on. We doing blackface now? We Uncle Tom in it on the mask? Is that what we doing? All right, I need more glue. They still do that in Japan. Have you seen their uh, like white people get ups? They like put, they, you can buy white people costumes at Don Quixote and it's like a really big fake nose and like a blonde wig and usually like glasses or something for with like fake blue eyes. You can become a white person. Yes, so for Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. I don't know but because it's like in some ways it's like, okay that's that's horribly offensive but then you think well we sell like black people afros and stuff so. Yeah but a black person afro is just a hairstyle. It's not like a whole kit. It's not, you know. Like not. where, it's not like the, the Japanese person went and bought a fake prosthetic nose and then bought a blonde wig. They actually put it all together and called it a, a gaijin costume. Wow. That's what makes it offensive. Yes, you can get your gaijin costume for $9.99 at the Don Quixote. <laughs> all right, so, you know, I got most of the masks done. You got kids in the background yelling and whatnot, but we're almost done. I still got globs of glue going down on my paper. And I'm trying, I'm trying YouTube, I'm trying to get it together, but this is work. You know, with that hat on, we can't see your face. That's good. You can see my lips, all right? Yeah. All right, yeah, because I got the bang, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, I got most of the mask done in the first layer. I got, still got to do another layer of this, and then we got to put white paper on top of this. So this is nothing I made it. This is for an event that we're doing with the kids. They're gonna be able to decorate their mask and color it up and everything. I'm gonna show you some final products of colored masks and all that stuff later. But right now, I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to get this done. So that's my finished product. I still have to do a little bit around this and this and stuff, but it looks pretty decent. I think uh, I'm satisfied with the product. And we still have one more to make, so they're kicking me out, so I gotta change rooms. So here are some examples of dried masks where we painted them with markers and used other materials. Uh, this green one, the red is actually spiral pasta, and the green is pipe cleaner. Uh, this one is also pipe cleaner with a pair of chopsticks and some 
fabric wrapped around it. You know who this who this belongs to. Ricky Hot, baby. Ricky Hot. That's how we do. On that note, I'm gonna call it a wrap. You know, I got other stuff to do. Thanks for watching. We're gonna get some more masks going. And 